Hello friends, welcome to BUEZ's framework tutorial series. Today we'll discuss about you know how we can conditionally render this kind of division or paragraph tag inside in HTML. So I will show you how to use B if the, then V else and also a little bit touch upon there is another directive B so. So this and this we usually more or less same uh, in terms of behavior and look and feel but there is a slight difference I'll touch upon that okay. So now let's get into some coding. If you watch my previous videos I think you guys are familiar that I'm using Visual Studio Code and this is my Chrome browser and it's in Spectre. I have, I have changed the themes and color combination to look a little bit different in dark color okay. So for example here we can specify v hyphen if we can give some variable uh, should display and this should display I can create a variable over here true okay now if I reload the space nothing will change because we want to still display if you like to make it false so if I reload the space we are unable to see it okay so we can create another paragraph so hello there so the next paragraph will be displayed okay so if for example if I let me change to true one more time and I reload the space so gems will be displayed also there is very simple way to apply the v uh, else condition so if we do this v else just after this v if condition Great. Let's okay. Sorry. Let's see it. Sorry. Okay. Now let me reload it. Now we can. Oh, sorry. Here I meant if only v else. It should be else. Okay. Okay. So now we can only uh, see this James. Okay the else part is not getting executed so if you change true to false and save it reload this see if you notice over here great let's see it so the name is not being displayed and this is just a random text we can get rid of it so i believe it's very simple if else condition inside if we can specify any variables so in variables we can say some uh, you know uh, some kind of boolean false or true so we can control this the behavior of the screen but for example here we can apply only to the element but what we if you like to have multiple elements some kind of paragraph on this kind of structure right so paragraph hi there let me create h1 something here yes let's say we have multiple lines multiple element a little bit complicated structure we can use template check okay so we can just group it inside the template okay very simple uh, and here we can see v if suit display we can use one particular variable in multiple places that is no not a problem so if you see the sort displays the false that's why nothing is displayed over here if you change it to true and reload the space see james hi there something here so this template is being displayed okay so see in this case if you notice over here there is no division or additional element will come up so if you expand it so i can see the p hi there so this space falls so after this great let's see the last element we are unable to see anything else so if for example if i change the true here sorry true over here and reload the space so i can able to uh, see the structure and if you see this inspector this paragraph h1 element is being displayed but there is no decorator or kind of block level element for example division the simple paragraph and the h1 element is displayed over here right but also if you still want to apply as a block element inside the div this will also work great so there is no concern over here if you reload it 
but if you notice over here it will be wrapped inside a division element so whether you want it or not it as for your pure requirement or preference so you can do both the things okay and there is one more interesting thing over here there is let's say paragraph oh great job man okay so here we can control v so okay not here inside this as an attribute so is equal to so me okay so i define another variable so so me false great job man okay uh, this, oh, no, no, this is not a semicolon over here so let me reload this okay now there is no error and this great job man is not being displayed over here below so let me get rid of it i don't need it anymore okay now if i make it to true and reload it so great job man is coming up if i make it false it will be you know just get rid of it so there is an opening but there is a slight difference between this if condition and be so if we expand over here see this the element of the great job man is is not visible on this browser on the right hand side but the display column is known as there so it is controlled by a css element not by removing or deleting from the dom structure but if you notice over here this name is a paragraph tag there is no style property embedded to it. For example, if I make it true, so let me expand it. So there is no style, by default is true. But if I, let's say, so displays, if I make it false, that element will be completely, you know, gone. See, there is no uh, element which uh, referred to this particular DOM element. It is completely deleted. And if, let's say, for example, if I make it false, nothing will be displayed over in the browser, not the first one or second one. But if you notice over here, this display none is uh, coming up. So that's the only difference between the B if and V else. Oh, sorry. B if versus B so. Okay. So I think uh, today is a very small quick tip. So hope you enjoy it. If you like my videos, kindly do like over in YouTube. Or if you want to get notified about my future videos, I want to uh, create a lot of videos regularly about various topics uh, in JavaScript, uh, Node.js, a lot of Angular, React, and a lot of other frameworks. So you kindly subscribe to it. Okay. Uh, so have a nice day ahead. Bye bye.